Oh my god, guys, can you believe it? I can't. A second nuptial flight. A month later, after I caught those Lacious Niger Queens, it happened again. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you a second nuptial flight. This is the first time I've ever seen this happen with Lacious Niger in the UK. And you'll see some interesting footage of males, young queens, and also I managed to catch a Lacious Flavis Queen. So guys, sit back and enjoy this episode. I'm on UK. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. So guys, it had been roughly about, what, six weeks since I uploaded the Neptune flight video for Lacious Niger Queens. And, you know, I was very happy with all the queens that I caught. And I've got loads of queens in this box, 26 of them. They've all got eggs, larvae. They're doing pretty well. And normally what happens in the UK is every year, well for the past few years, um, we normally just get one massive neutral flight day of Felicia's Niger. And this is a rare occasion because instead of having one neutral flight day, we've had two. Uh, I never expected this to happen because I was all happy with the queens that I caught. Um, I was expecting that that's it for this year, next year. I'll catch some more <laughs> um, but it, it happened again and I was amazed I, you know as soon as I went outside I let the dogs out to go and have a wee and I could see him flying around I was like oh my god really is this happening again so I turned up I looked up to the right because that's where I have to look when I'm outside of my garden where, the, where this nest is anyway so I look up to the right I'm looking up and I can see it and I'm like oh my god and they're all just all over my wall I was like, yeah, time to grab the camera and get recording and get some test tubes. So obviously I grabbed my camera, ran downstairs like a maniac, um, set it up, put some fresh batteries in this one because I have two cameras. I have a bridge camera and obviously I have the one with the macro stuff for macro recording. So I grabbed the bridge camera because the bridge camera is very small, easy to use. You know, I can just get out there in the field and use it no problem. So I ran outside and I started recording the queens and obviously I was making test tubes as I was going along and capturing, capturing young mated queens. Um, but it was amazing guys. I can't believe that we had a second a second neptune flight six weeks later. Now it was cloudy and the weather was very cloudy but it was very humid. It was quite really, it was like warm, it was uh, like a sticky heat. It was, it was kind of strange. Um, so it was just like the perfect temperatures and the perfect humidity for them to do this neptune flight. Um, the only difference I did notice was that during this neptune flight I managed to capture some a Lacius Flavus Queen. Now, the one six weeks beforehand, I didn't see one Lacius Flavus Queen. So it was a combination between Lacius Niger and Lacius Flavus doing neptune flights. I also got some footage of, as you can see here in the video, this is a young male. This is what a young Lacius Niger male looks like. Unfortunately for this fellow, I don't think he actually made it. I think he just flew down from the nest. He landed on a post in my garden and he was just chilling out there. Um, I don't know what happened to him because he did later on fly off somewhere else but these poor fellas you know they mate and basically die within like a few minutes it's quite sad but I was just going along as usual picking up as many queens as I could I know a lot of you say I don't pick up queens with wings but I watch them and I watch for the male to detach from a queen and then I pick it, the queen up um, or I look for queens that are on the floor just wandering around because this is normally a sign that they're looking for somewhere to nest. Um, here is Mother Nature taking its course. Um, I had to just let the spider have it. It already bit it, so it was only a matter of like minutes or so before the queen eventually died. The spider ended up picking it up and taking it into its nest and probably eating it. Same thing happened here. This was another queen hanging on a web on the side of one of the walls in my garden. Um, been bit by the spider, obviously. When the venom kicks in, you know, no matter even if you try and rescue the queen, she's she'll she'll die after uh, maybe an hour or so. You'll find her dead in a test tube. But I've had this happen. But you can see here, guys, from the footage, wow, there's just queens everywhere on the side of that wall. Now, that wall leads to my kitchen. Yeah, 
that's right that leads to the inside of my kitchen um, sometime in spring I had ants in my kitchen and there was a hole in my wall in the kitchen behind the washing machine so I've had to fill that hole in just to stop them from getting in to my kitchen here we go guys this is a laces flowers queen it flew into my garden and I was so excited I seen it straight away I could see the orange glowing from underneath its body and I could see the orange legs and I was like yes finally I've caught myself a laces flowers queen because in the past I've been sent laces flowers queen from people down south I've never actually caught one for myself so this was you know this was really really great for me to finally get my hands on one it was the only one I caught um, but I was uh, happy that I managed to catch myself a Lacey's Flavis Queen. So during the Snapchat flight yesterday, there was Lacey's Niger and Lacey's Flavis flying. Um, but like I said, six weeks ago, all I could find was Lacey's Niger. So I'm guessing yesterday was flight day for Lacey's Flavis. So I'm hoping all of you guys in the UK had the same thing happening and managed to catch both species um, and just have as much success that I did. Now here I'm comparing both of them, this is a Laceous Niger Queen, you can see that she's black underneath and this is obviously the Laceous Niger, it's like an orangey, orangey light brown underneath. I was just showing you a comparison because a lot of people get confused when it comes to a Laceous Niger and a Laceous Flavus. This was a queen here with the male on the back of her, so here she is actually mating. Um, I was following her for quite some time and I just thought to myself, the male's on the back of her so she's mating, I might as well just capture her with the male. So that's what I ended up doing, I ended up capturing her with the male. Um, she looks like a Laceous Niger, but I'm not too sure because her belly's quite light underneath so she could actually be a Flavus. I'm not exactly sure, so I will monitor her. Um, but she did have a bit of a lighter brownish colour to, to the bottom section. As you can see in the video, it does look a bit orangey, you see? So I think she also is, uh, maybe. Uh, Lacey's flowers. Here was a queen running along the floor and this one had already removed its wings. It was hiding underneath my uh, black recycling um, bin but I managed to scoop this one up. So at the end of it all I think I ended up with like 12 to 13 queens but it was another good day. I could have caught a lot more but I only had six test tubes left out of the hundred that I bought last year or the year before. I think I've had them for about two years but they've done well and they've served their purpose. So now I've got a lot of queens that I can add to my website for sale in a few months. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you've all caught some queens during this time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm Andrew King.